I am freaking out. YouTube family, I am in the space that we're going to be using for our kitchen, which has never been a kitchen before. This house has no kitchen, and I am about to tackle building my very own kitchen cabinets, literally from scratch. This is insane. I've been so excited to do this over the past couple of weeks. The wood is here. Everything we need to build these is here. And for the very first time, I'm going to build my own kitchen carcasses, the doors, we're doing absolutely everything. I'm learning as I go. And I hope that this series, Building My Cabinets and My Kitchen, will inspire you to do your own DIY projects like this and to not be afraid and just put on a little bit of extra bravery and just go for it. Because there might be mistakes along the way, but there aren't any mistakes that will be too catastrophic that I won't be able to come back from. So we're doing this with you guys cheering me on. Philip's right here filming me. <laughs> I'm building these. I'm fully confident that I can handle this project. So if you're new to our channel, we bought an old 1800s abandoned captain's quarters back in April. And when we moved in, there was no kitchen here. The previous owners who abandoned it had removed the original, really beautiful shaker style white farmhouse kitchen in a very small room in the house. That room is going to be our walk-in pantry laundry room where we're going to be building a home setting pantry. So we're flipping where that kitchen space originally was in the house into this huge addition that was put on by a previous owner. We're not exactly sure where, and we're going to utilize this large space and make this our dream kitchen. But we cannot get any supplies across Canada or ordered in anywhere in the budget that we want to spend in a timeline that we have time to wait for for a kitchen. And so we are going to tackle this project ourselves. It's a go big or go home moment. And the moment is here, we're going to start building. I'm going to try to go over everything that I'm doing over the next couple of videos showing you building all of our cabinets. I wanna take my time and really build these as perfectly as I possibly can. And so my plan of attack is to start with the most basic, simple cabinet that's going to be in the series of cabinets that we're going to build. It's going to be a standard carcass in the custom dimension for our kitchen. It's going to go to the left of my stove here underneath the window from approximately this little line here where the edge of the stove will go to the end of the window sill on that side. So it is a custom size. So I've had to preliminary go through and do all of my measurements to be able to know how to build my carcass to size. And I'm gonna show you how I figured that out. And then my stove is gonna go here and I need another cabinet that's going to go about two, about three quarters across here because our wood stove is going to be in the corner here. This is going to be a drawer system. Ah, I can do it, I got this, I can do it. So this side's gonna be a drawer system and this is going to be a basic double door cabinet. So I'm going to start with the basic cabinet and then challenge myself to the more complicated cupboards as we go. This is going to be completely custom to the size of this old house and so that leads some challenges. But I think I have it all figured out what we want to do is we want to use as much of the wood that we got and condense our sizes and cutouts onto these boards. We don't want to have really any waste because even though we're building this kitchen ourselves, the cost of lumber right now is really high. I'll give you a reference to that. Back in April, when we were in Ontario, before we moved here to Nova Scotia, I was paying approximately $40 to $45 plus tax for a piece of four by eight, good two sides, furniture grade plywood. The cost of lumber now is anywhere between $90 and $130 a sheet, depending on the quality of the plywood that you buy. Because we're building cabinets, we want the best that we can possibly get in the budget that we're gonna spend for the kitchen. And so we purchased some oak furniture grade plywood that's four by eight. And I'm hoping that I can build each of my cabinets, especially the basic double door one on one piece of ply and that is including the shelving that will go on the inside. Then our face frames are a different type of wood which cost me about $20. So I'm gonna break everything down for you at the end, showing you exactly how much did this one base cabinet cost me and how we're gonna do our cutouts here in case you wanna challenge yourself and do this yourself. Okay, I've got some lines to draw on here for our first cuts. 
So I have my little notebook here and the last couple evenings while we've been relaxing in front of the wood stove and we've had some storms, I've been writing down what my measurements and thicknesses of wood and everything are, are so that I'm going to know if I'm building these custom what sizes I need. And so it would be different if you were building yours on your own. So telling you the numbers is irrelevant. I'm going to draw them on here and I'm going to create four separate pieces that I need to build the base carcass on one board here. Then I can use the scrap pieces for some other support systems for the cabinet. So I'm going to draw those on. I'm just using a pencil, a measuring tape, and then I'm going to use a long level to be able to make my line straight. So the height of my cabinets is going to be 34 and a half and the depth is going to be 22 and a half, and that's without the door that's going to be on the face frame of the front. And I looked online and found what the base standard height and depths of cabinets are so that I can just go along with what someone else in the pros has already established as the perfect size for countertops that come standard, which we ordered. We are also working through yet another winter storm here in Nova Scotia. And so we're hoping that we don't run out of power, but Philip has the generator and everything all geared up for us in case we need it so we can keep building today. I can't believe we're doing this right now. I'm like literally, I'm inside. so- Can you stop <laughs> freaking out? No, the vibe's good. You're giving off good vibes. I know you're going to kill it. I'm confident that I can do this. Heck yeah. And I think- Why wouldn't you be? I don't think our YouTube family will be surprised that I can do this. I think they'll be surprised that I can do this because they've seen me build like an entire kitchen. Yeah. Like, I don't think they're going to be surprised that I can do this. I think they'll be surprised that I can do this because they've seen me build like an entire she shed and stuff before. Yeah. But that being said, this is very different than following plans because I essentially have no plans other than the ones that I've created well, you, for myself. Yeah, you drew down your yeah, own from, plans. Yeah, but, like my own plans. But building this she shed came with like step-by-step -step instructions. Yeah. It's completely like, into the exact dimensions that were already lined out for me. Yeah. You, so this is... You followed an engineer's plan. You don't have. I and I need a shirt that says <laughs> "Kitchen Engineer." Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll see. For today, anyway. Okay. So I made extra marks so that I have lots to follow along. Making my first marks. You're like, oh shoot, wrong oh, mark. Nope. <laughs> I'm being a perfectionist, but. Oh, oh no! Yay! Yeah. Oh no! Oh. It doesn't know what to do. Oh no! Oh. Yay! <laughs> it's been happening all day. Oh my gosh. Darn. Oh. I think this is. Yay! Oh. We'll see. The kids are cheering upstairs. <laughs> They're doing what we were doing. Okay, now I want to double check these. So this was supposed to be 34 and a half by 22 and a half. Okay. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Obviously, a tree on a, on our power line somewhere. Yeah, we're in the neighborhood somewhere, right? Yeah. Seems like time as a wave passing by, people mark in our marks to turn the memory. We may be building by candlelight generator. That's okay. We can do it. This is the left side and this is the right side. And these scrap pieces here will be used for some other pieces that we're gonna use like toe kick, back bracing, um, some interior framing that we're gonna be doing. So we will have plenty of scrap on this board here of the pieces that we didn't need to be able to do those steps without getting into another board. This is actually gonna give me plenty to be able to do this cabinet with one board. Bring out the saw. Generator to the rescue. <laughs> Come on. Yeehaw. Let the building begin. Woo. So because my table saw will only cut so wide, I need to use my jigsaw to actually cut two of these pieces smaller and then I can use my table saw 
for the width that it actually is adaptable for. And we purchased new blades for all of the saws for this project. Every one of our saws was due for a blade refill. So what we wanna do is I'm gonna change the jigsaw blade into a nice new blade, and then we can get a really nice fresh cut. Next big project needs to be building a shop. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> We're gonna need one at some point here. I did a lot of bad things, and never did I give in. Just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. I have never felt home till you went. Before we assemble these, I want to pre-cut the spots where my toe kicks are going to go. I'm going to go three and a half inch thick toe kicks and then three inches in. Hold on, outside right now, it's so nice in here, but like... <laughs> oh, don't blow over trees. Wait, what was that? <laughs> no, what was that? Sometimes I forget the camera's real thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can you just show me that move? Can you end this song? <laughs> what was... <laughs> toe kicks. Toe kicks. All right. okay. <laughs> it was the toe kick. Nice. We're gonna bring the table saw back out and cut a couple of three quarter inch by three inch slats that are going to go as cross braces on the top and the back of the purpose of the cabinet here. And we're gonna cut a few extra because the second cabinet that we're going to build today is going to need a few of those as well. So while we have the saw out and we're cutting that same dimension, we're gonna rip a few extra. And then we get to start putting these together once we have those braces cut. a Craig Jig and in fact multiple times in videos in the past when I've done building projects our YouTube family has been like girl don't you have a Craig Jig and I was like what in the world is a Craig Jig so over the past several months I've kind of been thinking okay I totally need to get a Craig Jig they're not very expensive I think the kit was under $50 for everything don't totally an asset if I'm going to do any woodworking and I was a little intimidated on how difficult it was gonna be I just opened it up, read the instructions. So easy, what was I thinking? So I'm glad that I finally went and got one. It's gonna help keep this and make it a lot sturdier. So we've got the impact driver and the drill bit that it came with. And we've got everything set up here. We're using one and a quarter inch screws and we're going to pre-drill all of our crank holes here for us to be able to assemble this. On three quarter inch ply. On three quarter inch oak ply. Okay, my first one. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was most excited about trying the Craig Jake for this whole build. <laughs> <laughs> 
so I've never seen anyone use one other than in a video on YouTube, which is from me researching to build the cabinet. So right. really, in all fairness, it's something completely new to me, which is cool. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, I don't know why I was so intimidated to try these. Now I'm really happy that I took the plunge to do it because if I posted a letter. So for reference, this this is the back of our cupboard yeah. and this is the front. You can see the toe kick there. We're gonna work from this angle so that you can see where we're putting these cross braces at the back. And we're doing this at the back so that we won't see the holes from the Craig jig, even though it'll be inside the cupboard and you probably would notice it anyways. If I can keep all of that hidden behind, which will be against the wall, then why not? On the graves, in the cracks of a thousand leaves, somewhere in between, our past and our future rolling over, all the dividing things, are you still listening, want to be heard by you, slow fall into the Indian Sea Where the cold and the heart meet And the powers that be Originally, Alicia and I were just, I say Alicia and I, but originally we were just going to brad nail the base, the bottom plate in um, to the carcass, but Alicia is now a Craig jig queen. <laughs> and I'm like, can't I just Craig jig the shelf and make sure that it's extra secure? So we're going to put some Craig jig holes in along where my shelf is. And then I think what we can do is if we flip this upside down, then our crick holes will be underneath and not in my bottom thing. Because my original thought was brad nail it so that I won't see any screw holes or anything. But if we flip it upside down, I can do it underneath. It'll all be hidden and it'll be extra secure. You're going to want to have to put heavy pots and pans yeah. inside. So the extra support. So should I do two here, two here, two here? Yeah. And then we'll do the same on that side. Yeah. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room But the truth is If I'm honest Do you love the Craig jig? No, I'm making all the things now. <laughs> my mind's like, this is what I'm making now. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Craig jig content. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Already, I already vision it. I want to sand I'll, it. I'm itching to sand it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like nothing, but it's it is something. I don't know why, but there is literally nothing more exciting than like watching this come together right now. Uh, I can tell you why. Eight and a half months without a kitchen. <laughs> That is why. Eight and a half too long without a oh. kitchen. Oh my gosh. Especially when eating such my favorite thing.
we have the main carcass of the kitchen cabinet all built with the Craig jig. We didn't use any brad nails. We just used wood glue and the Craig. So I'm pretty excited that that worked out so easily and that I finally took the plunge to do it. Well worth the investment of having it and I can use it for other projects. Next thing I want to do is we are making face frame cabinets. And then we're going to be building a shaker style door. We wanted something really simplistic. And if you saw the pictures of the original kitchen and the house here, the original design of these cabinets was a very farmhouse style shaker cabinet. We're not going for the farmhouse look, but I think that the shaker style cabinet is pretty classic and timeless and it's going to look gorgeous with the harbor we've picked. And I really just like the simplicity and minimalist look of a shaker style cabinet. And so we're going to build these face frames now. And to do that, I'm going to use some one by twos and frame up. So I'm going to do a one by two across the top length, a one by two across the bottom length. I'm going to put the wood glue on, then use the brad nailer to be able to nail them on. And then I'm going to have the spaces between where the one by twos are here to fill in this side here and that side there. And because this one is going to have no drawers, that is literally how simple it is to put the face frame on the front of this. And once that's on, we can build our doors. Thank you. It's my little cheap notebook I made myself. All right, I'm going to measure this and make sure that it's exactly what it should be because if we build these to spec, we should be. It doesn't get any closer than that. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing Golden, I follow on the golden Golden, golden things Gold hair, gold ring show you the current state of the first kitchen carcass that we have done for our cabinets before we put an interior shelf on and put the toe kick on. Then we get to build the doors, which I'm really excited about because I think it's going to obviously finish these off. It's going to look incredible and we're going to feel so accomplished that we have one completely done aside from how we're going to paint and finish the cabinets. So we even have the first carcass in the position that it's going to be in. It's going to be attached to the wall and everything will be sort of leveled out once we get that because that's why we need this nice crossbar back here so we can actually get drilled to the studs that are in the wall behind to add that extra security since there will be items in it. And right now we want to cut the toe kick that's here. Now we have a three and a half inch deep carcass uh, toe kick here and then it's going to go on the front here because this is not going to attach to any other cabinets we can complete this step on this one right here when we build a section where we'll have multiple of these carcasses side by side we'll wait and do the car the toe kick across the whole bottom for example on the island but since this one is a unit all on its own we're going to finish off that step right now and complete that and I decided that since this is going to house a lot of my pots and frying pans, I want to have a shelf on the inside, but I don't want the shelf to come to the front edge here. And so we're going to cut it back a little bit. That will give me a little more give room to bring things in and out of this cabinet and maybe a really cute little ledge on the front here overhang to make that shelf look a little bit more chunky and a little more high end. So we're going to get to cutting and install those. 